this next section is about something called PRLS or prepaid rental listing service. So let me give you an example. I am right now here in Los Angeles and around me are all sorts of apartment buildings. You know, there's a lot of apartment buildings. The Roosevelt is across the street and the watermark is down the road and all these apartment buildings around me. Now, if you are wanting to move to, let's say Los Angeles or San Francisco or Newport Beach and you want to find a place to rent, well, what would you do? Well, I suppose you could go to Craigslist, but what's the challenge with Craigslist? Well, this is not a knock on Craigslist, but sometimes some of those ads have the reputation of being a little scammy. Who knows if it's really the owner? Who knows if the property's in foreclosure? I don't wanna get caught on the wrong side of some kind of scam. So instead of relying on Craigslist or even Google, I could find a PRLS company, and PRLS stands for Prepaid Rental Listing Service. And these PRLS companies, basically, how they make money, their revenue model is generally getting money from tenants. So you would pay one of these PRLS companies on a subscription basis. So let's say that you were a prospective tenant trying to find space, let's say in Los Angeles. What you could do is you could pay one of these companies, let's say 50 or 60 bucks a month for a subscription to their service. These companies would basically then allow you access as a prospective tenant to their database of properties. Now, think about this for a second. You might say again, well, I'll just go to Craigslist, but Craigslist maybe hasn't been as vetted as some of these PRLS companies. I would write the words, allows licensee to sell a list. All this PRLS license lets you do, doesn't let you sell property, doesn't let you do property management, doesn't really let you do leasing. All this license will let you do is sell a list of rental property to a prospective tenant, number one. Number two, now by the way, a lot of real estate agents candidly give these lists away for free. They'll say, you know, houses or apartments for rent from 3,000 a month and up, free list. And they'll give you a free list as a prospective tenant. But if you call me and say, hey, I'm looking to pay 3,500 bucks a month in rent in downtown, that's a lead for me as a real estate salesperson to then educate you on the benefits of home ownership. So a lot of agents will give away these lists for free in order to get buyer leads for their real estate business. But if you wanna sell a list of available rental property to a prospective tenant, you will need to obtain a license by the Bureau of Real Estate called PRLS. So a couple of things we need to know for our test. What does a PRLS license let you do? It lets you sell a list of available rental property to a prospective tenant, number one. Number two, but you might wanna write the words two year license. This license is only good for two years. Now, your real estate license that you're getting here with us is gonna be good for four years. PRLS is only good for two.